I'm just gonna take you through how to set up a jet ski for spearfishing. Uh, I get this question a lot. I've been using a jet ski to spearfish off of since about 2005 and there's been a lot of trial and error but the entire time it's been very worthwhile because I think it's a great tool for getting out on the water. I see a lot more people spearfishing off of jet skis these days and um, it's really interesting to see different people's setups but I'll run you through the general ideas that are going to make your life a lot easier and make the jet ski a much more efficient tool for you. So probably the most important aftermarket thing when you do buy your jet ski is to get a good sled. So this one's made by High Surf Accessories. It's a sled I've had for probably a decade. Um, and as opposed to the normal rescue sleds for picking people, people up in large surf, this one's a bit wider. It's actually made for fishing or spear fishing. So it's just a bigger platform to put a lot of gear on. Um, another game changer here was getting this bag made. So again, this is high surf accessories. It screws right in, so it's not going anywhere. And this is where I put all my loose gear, like my mask, fins, uh, flashers, tag lines, anything like that. So it's in one spot and it's tight. I know it's not falling off the ski. I can keep track of everything and we're good to go. Um, <laughs> You always want to take care of your fish, so the cooler is cr crucial. Today I'm just going for reef fish, so I got this size cooler. Um, you just want to make sure that it's securely attached in a way that it can't flop right or left and kind of catch the water because the, the biggest thing you got to watch out for is just when you're flying at 30 knots from location to location is the water catching stuff and just ripping it off. And you'd be amazed at how much pressure that water has. Like it'll, it'll break straps, webbing straps like this. So it's just keeping everything secure and tight on the jet ski is the main priority here. Um, I typically keep my spear guns or pole spear or anything like that in the gunnel. Um, this ski has actually pretty low gunnels, so I have to be a bit more careful than most people. Other skis have higher gunnels all the way to the back. Um, but as long as I keep my foot on this side of it and pin this in, and then also I have a little buckle here to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, I'm good to go. The other thing that I keep in the gunnel is my weight belt. I've never had that go anywhere. Um, it's safe to keep here, and you want it to be able to when you get back on the jet ski and you're in your wetsuit and you want to switch spots, it's nice to take that weight belt off because it doesn't beat up your lower back when you're slamming around. So I just put it right there and it's good to go. Up front, there's two things that I have for controlling the ski essentially. One of them is a drift sock that goes up front. So it's basically a big parachute funnel shaped and that is going to control the drift if I'm doing blue water diving or even if I'm fishing on it out at sea. It can get really complicated when the current and the wind are going opposite directions so when you're a diver in the water you're always going with the current and so if the wind's going the opposite way the jet ski has a tendency to just drift straight out to sea so if that thing gets away from you too far you can find yourself in deep trouble. Uh, the drift sock helps control that it definitely, definitely slows down the drift, um, especially in those situations where you have current and wind going in different directions. Um, I'm gonna have my anchor down low. Something to remember is that sometimes you wanna put a pad down below your anchor because if you go full cowboy style and just go slamming around you know, trying to go 40 knots in choppy seas, that anchor can actually crack the uh, plastic inside of here, um, and you don't want that to happen. But most people who've been on jet skis a while have lost interest in, um, you know, breaking their spine going that fast in rough water. Another aftermarket add-on is gonna be this bow line. So this bow line is gonna hook up to my drift sock, it's gonna hook up to my anchor, uh, it's so I can get towed if I need to get towed, hopefully not. But something that's special about this bow line is this material is hard because of the size and the width. 
to actually get sucked up into the impeller. So the impeller is under a grate on the bottom of the ski and that's what actually propels the ski. It sucks in water and blows it out the back. And if you go over say a tagline or a rope, it will suck that rope right in there, twist it up into like a hopeless knot and the ski is dead in the water and it's really a nightmare. So this initial length is, reaches to about the back of the ski and this is what's most likely to encounter that impeller. So I have this on the top end, then I go to my anchor line. So I'm never driving directly over my anchor line when I'm trying to get the anchor up and uh, I don't have to worry as much. This can get sucked up, it's just a lot harder to suck it up, so you still have to be very aware of that um, impeller on the bottom of the ski. In all, the, the jet ski has been an amazing tool for me, um, not just in Big Surf, but obviously uh, going spear fishing. It's really fast and easy to launch. The wash down time later is a lot faster than a boat. I can fit, with this setup, I can fit more gear and people than usually a 13 foot boat because I had a 13 foot inflatable before and I could not fit as much gear on this ski. And on that 13 foot inflatable you're only going maybe 10 knots. This thing I can go to spots going 30 knots. It's just a great tool. It's a lower price point than a boat even with the aftermarket stuff on. You're going to run around 15,000 for a new ski and a, and a setup for diving but um, it's getting more and more popular and I would love to hear what other people have done with their setup. I'm still always figuring out stuff with this and uh, it's fun to just tinker with it. So I'd love to hear what people have to say. Any ideas? Um, let's go dive.